thoughts on Cartagena or Araujo? I understand they're not known for the goal scoring prowess, but so much space opening at the top of the 18. Here's a good decision to find Duncan McGuire. Delivery in towards Pereira. Angulo skipping away from Hebert. Good rotation here from Orlando City. Pereira back for Angulo. Jackson did well to retreat. Slipped through. Duncan McGuire and a big save from Birkin. As Torrenson replaces Joe Acchini, and that will be the lone change for both sides to start the second half as Joe Dickerson officially starts the second half from Central Florida. Tyler Terrence along with the ex-German pro. Into the path of Pereira. Thoronson. Cute little nutmeg. And now it's Faku Torres. Orlando City lead. And the Lions are roaring through one of their main men. And now the much-anticipated return of Joao Klaus. It has been 19 long matches across all competitions for the German DP, who got off to a rip-roaring start at the beginning of the season. He had five goals and four assists in just nine appearances, went down with a nagging injury. Whipped in, Marcanic, not a bad ball whatsoever. And wins it back. Takes it off the feet of Torrenson. Into the middle, and it's in for St. Louis! But the flag is up over on the far side. Confidence, according to his head coach, Ryan Swan out of Northern Illinois. It's that first touch, though. The ability to get back around the outside. What an explosion into the final third over that left shoulder. And then again, it's beautiful vision. Credit to the trailing run on the near post. Beautiful redirection. But the speed, the ability in a five-yard span to just put down immediately, get to the byline and cut it across. How tight is that window? How beautiful is that touch? And now they're going to take a look. He's got it. Here's the real question. With the two looks that we have, can you definitively say that ball is 100% in play? Here's the call. It's a goal. Enrique on the turn. Little burst of speed. Trying to stay on his feet. And it's going to be a foul and a yellow card for Jake Nowinski. For Rafa Santos. Shouts for a handball. It'll simply be a corner for the moment. VAR will obviously take a look. <laughs> now a couple of the Orlando City players are asking for more noise. And they're going to go take a look at this. Where's the arm? That's pretty close to the torso. I mean, there's not much more he can do to keep his arm as close I mean, to the his The rules body. in this day and age are ridiculous in general, but in that specific <laughs> situation, to retake the lead for Orlando City. And it does just that. He's got a brace, and the Lions have their lead back. As we're into nine minutes of stoppage time, it's Orlando City 2, St. Louis City 1. Outswinger at the near post, one by Cartagena. That's the left, tees it up, and it's off the post. Whipped back in and another corner for St. Louis. He wants to kill the game off for the goal. Ramiro Enrique tripped up from behind. It surely is a red card. Right outside of the penalty area. Nerwitzki is sent off. The player, but that touch right there is incredible by Ramiro Enrique. The next one heads to the locker room for an early shower. Berkey. And that'll do it full time. Orlando City unbeaten in 10 straight in all competitions. Para ver más, suscríbete al canal de Fox Deportes en YouTube.